So in order to work with multi-desktop, let's open up a lot of applications right over here. So I'm going to open up Word. I'm going to open up Excel. I'm going to open up PowerPoint right over here. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Let me just open up uh, Notepad as well. Let me just open up Paint. And I'm going to open up Paint 3D as well. So I'm going uh, opening up a lot of application as you can see. I'm going to open up WordPad as well. And I'm going to open up as browser. So you can see that I got a lot of applications now, uh, just like this. And now let's say I want to manage them all out. And working out with all of the apps in the same window might get confusing and uh, it might be hard to manage everything. So what you can do is you can use uh, something called the task view right over here. You can click it here and you can see that all of the applications that are uh, opened up actually lines up over there. That's one way. You can also press Windows tab to see that view. And over here at the top, you can see that new desktop actually appears just like that. So you can click on new desktop and you can see that now there are suddenly multiple desktop right over here. On the first desktop, there are these apps. On the second desktop, there is none. It is actually very, very clean. So once I go over here, you can see that there's the first desktop view. So let me go on to the task view. I can drag in some of the apps over here. So let's say on the desktop two, I want to drag in the paint both the paint apps right over here. On the new desktop that is on the desktop three, let me just go back over here uh, onto the task view that is, and I'm going to go over to desktop one, just hover around, not click over there. So everything can be seen just like that. On the desktop three, I'm going to bring in PowerPoint right over here, and I'm gonna bring in Excel as well. So both uh, of them are there. I'm going to click on new desktop again and from desktop one just hovering around I'm going to bring in the word and I'm going to bring in the word pad so on the um, on the default desktop I'm just going to bring in the notepad as well so on the desktop one I just have my recorder app and my Microsoft as as you can see right there so let me just click on desktop one and over here you can see that I just got the uh, uh, Internet Explorer and I got my recorder app running over here so if you want to surf the web, then I have it here. I can go over here and switch to desktop too. And now I have the paint apps right over here and I can work around with them. I can go over here and then I can go to desktop three. I got my PowerPoint and my Excel sheet right over here. And on desktop four, I got my WordPad. I got my Microsoft uh, Notepad. I'm just gonna close this. And I got my WordPad right over here. So you can see that it's really easy to manage it just like this, so I can go to the task view, I can just switch to the desktop I want, and then I can get the content that I want to. So I can go over to desktop one, and there you go, I have the content as I need it. So I can go to desktop four, and there you go, I have the content just like that. So I can go to any of the desktop just like this, and I have the content which is required. So let's say I want to um, actually make sure one of the content that is one, the window is available in all of the desktop and not just in one. Let's say I want to make the Microsoft S right here available on all of them. So you can just right click on this and you can see that you can move this to the other desktop right over by right clicking over here. I can move it to desktop three and it goes to desktop three right over here. There's the S browser right here. What I want to do is not move it, but make it available on all the desktop. So I'm gonna right click, I'm going to go over here and I'm gonna click this called show this window on all the desktop. So now what it'll do is it'll make sure it is available on all of my desktops. So I go to desktop two, you can see that it is here. So let me just go over here and type in a test just like this. And the test is actually here. And if I were to move on to other desktop like desktop four, that window is still there. So you know that it is the same window which is actually opening up. So you move it around and then click it and it is available on all of the desktop as you can see. So if you uh, don't want it to, uh, to be available on all of the desktop again, you can simply go over here on the task view. You can right click and disable this check. And now it is only available on this desktop one. So go to desktop two, it is not available there anymore. So just like this, you can work around with multiple desktop. So if you were to go over here and close the desktop, the apps actually just accumulate in the previous desktop as you can see. So if I were to close it, now all of the apps 
that were on uh, the other desktop actually accumulates over here. So none of your works are lost even if you close the desktops. So that is how you can work around with the multiple desktop feature inside of Microsoft Windows 10. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.